Hello everyone, my name is Luchara, and this is Stardew Valley. Day 18 of our update 1.5 Beach Baron playthrough. Looking at another sunny day tomorrow. Our luck for the day is good. It's good. You haven't had many good luck days. Limit off the land says, Ah, refreshing rain, a farmer's best friend. Yeah, it is. I would love some rain, please, game. Because like it says, then I wouldn't have to water my crops. But instead, it never rains. All right, so my plan for today, I'm going to do similar to the two I did yesterday. I'm not going to water my crops right now. Right now, I'm going fishing. Yep, and then we're going to fish till maybe 7 o'clock in the lake. And then we'll come down, head to the bar, give Pam her birthday present. And then we'll come back to the farm and uh, and water. Maybe plant some more parsnips. Maybe. I don't know. It's getting... The amount of watering I got to do is starting to get out of hand. Uh, <laughs> we shall see. See how I feel when I get back. Probably don't need these salmon berries. Don't need to go out of my way to get them anyway. 183 salmon berries on me right now. And I've already given you two gifts this week. No, man. Just want to say hi. That's all, man. Just trying to be friendly, Linus. I will win your, your love with salmon berries. Don't think I won't. Just like I'm going to win Pam's love. By giving her beer. And Shane and Lewis love. By giving them hot peppers. But that's in the summer. And we are still. 10 days away. From summer. So we're not going to worry about that right now. We're going to worry about catching lots of fish. Nothing but perfect catches today. Oh. Well. That's a good start. It's a good start. Great start. Exactly what I was trying to do. Let the fish lull them into a false sense of security that I don't know what I'm doing. No, and at least expected. Bam! Perfect catch. Iridium quality. Like that. Nothing but chubs today. Yeah, we need to get up over 5,000 gold, so. Actually, that'll be easy because I'm pretty sure my cauliflowers are all gonna. Not all of them, but a bunch of them are going to harvest tomorrow. That'll be a good chunk of change. For sure. That'll be the 19th, right? So I can do what? Parsnips twice, probably. Be the best thing I can grow tomorrow. Yeah. Double parsnips. Because I can't better than doing a single potato or single kale and it's not enough to do potatoes or kale the six day crops and parsnip so parsnips twice makes the most sense from an xp perspective which is how i'm looking at it because i do want sprinklers versus summer because that little 10 by 20 patch that's it's big enough that i can get a decent number of sprinklers in there And I'll have some, I'll grow some crops on the beach part too without a sprinkler. Like my hops. I won't have a sprinkler for hops. I'll grow hops up by my house. Grow everything else probably down by the sprinklers. Then we'll get some animals on the go. Be lots of room for animals on this farm for sure. And the other thing I'm looking forward to in the summer is there's good fishing on the docks in the summer and I can do that right in my farm it's not good fishing on the docks right now that's why I'm up here and I missed that one because it was really quick oh and I shore cast I am on a roll too busy flapping my gums about summer oh yeah 
This bitch is taking its time before it bites. Jeez Louise. Stupid carp. I mean, that's a pretty easy carp. <laughs> Didn't really uh, even try to escape. Okay, found Pierre's old glasses. Or her, I guess Harvey wears glasses too. Does anybody else wear glasses? Do we need the girls wear it? Marrow. Marrow wears glasses. Is that like the only glasses wears in the valley? Oh, Gunther. Gunther wears glasses. Mostly dudes. Guess Mare's the only girl that wears glasses. It's a good thing Harvey's not an optometrist. He'd definitely be out of work right now. I mean, he's barely hanging on as it is. There's just not enough people here for to have a doctor. Should have to travel to the next larger town over for that, you would think. You know, if this was the real world. But it's not. It's a video game. Sure, I'm glad I came up here early so I could catch lots of uh, largemouth bass. Oh, wait. There's none. Oh, look. look. Yeah, I called them out. Now there's going to be one. I want this treasure chest, though. Treasure more valuable than a perfect catch. Usually. We shall see. Yeah, Magma Geo, they'll take that. Since I'm not down on those floors yet. Green algae for me. For life. Come on. Fishy, fishy, fishy. There you go. Piece of cake. Ooh. Oh, no. Almost lost perfect. Those chubs are unpredictable. I need less of you and more of you, please. This has not been a profitable fishing day thus far. Gotta remember to bring those geos to Clint tomorrow. For sure. Plus, any geodes I have back at the farm. Which I'm honestly not sure how many I have. If any at all. Find out soon enough, though. Check when I get back. If I remember, which I probably won't. Oh my god, I did that again. Double mess up. Yay, a stick. Yay, not a stick. Another bass would be nice. This time a purple one. Yep. I like you. So what time do we want to stay out till? Do we want to stay out right till 7? When the bass go to sleep? Yeah, I want, I want to make sure Pam's in the tavern by the time I hit it. I don't want to get there pre-Pam. Do I want to hit Pierre's today, though? Nah, I can hit Pierre's tomorrow. Now the bass are rolling in. Yeah, I'll hit Pierre's tomorrow. So I'll need, uh, I'll need a bunch of parsnip seeds to replace all the cauliflowers that are going to be... Harvestable tomorrow. Let's eat a couple salmon berries here. Top up the old energy. Gonna need a lot because I know I'm gonna need a bunch to water my crops when I get back to the farm. So I might as well just slam like five salmon berries into us right now while the getting's good. More algae. Don't get me wrong though. Algae is not useless. You can craft it into a like algae soup or something. It's a nice little recipe. And I think you use them in the recipe to make fish ponds, which we're going to need for the community center. 
which I'm, I'm looking forward to playing around with those. Last time I played Stardew Valley, fish ponds weren't in the game. So that's not something I've experienced yet, so we'll get to experience that together. Should be interesting. Another bass, come on. Well, it's definitely not a carp. Yeah, almost maintained my perfect while getting the chest. Almost. Now see, that, that was not worth <laughs> the star downgrade. But it is what it is. Gotta roll the dice with those chests. They can be good. This is a carp. Likely. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast out to the, these ripples, I think. Oh, did I overshoot them? I don't think it's worth it. Well, I'll do one more. I'm not sure if I actually caught the ripples there. Oh, well, the ripples are gone anyway. <laughs> don't worry about a looch. What are you? Chub? Yeah, I think that's Chub. Maybe a bullhead. But I'm going to predict Chub. Yeah. What's in the box? Yeah. That's not. <laughs> well, upgrading a star and a Chub isn't worth that much. Upgrading a star and a bullhead is worth a little more. Couple bass before we leave would be nice. In a perfect world. But this world is far from perfect. <laughs> what are you, a chub? Yeah. Have I missed on chubs that much, or it's just been chubs when I've been getting chests? I think most of my chests have been chubs. I think. That's my story, I'm sticking to it. Another chub. Another bass, please. Poseidon, god of the sea. Guess I'm not in the sea. Lady of the lake. Can I have a, another largemouth bass or two before I depart to give Pam some beer? Please. I said please. Oh, oh. It's getting squirrely. Yeah. No, oh, it was a chub. A scurly chub. Man, I got a lot of rice shoots. A bunch in the box, too, I think, isn't there? I think there is. I'll snag them on my way back, take them back. I'm not sure when those rice are going to be done, but I don't think it's for another few days yet. Actually, it might not be till the 22nd. Hey, hey, bass. Couple more casts here and we'll bounce. This will be our last day fishing for a while. Unless we get a rainy day. And then we'll go hunt for catfish. But other than rainy days, this will be our last day fishing. God, it might be the last day fish. Our last non rainy day fish day of the spring, honestly. So once these cauliflowers and strawberries start popping up, we'll have lots of money. We won't need to fish. We'll want to hit the mines. More often than not. Maybe if we upgrade our pick to gold before the end of spring, we may do a fishing day. Since we won't be able to hit the mines, but short of that. Alright, well this is our last one. 
Finish with the bass? No, looks pretty carpy to me. Oh well. Yep. Another carp. Yeah. Take those as well. Take that. Take that. Gotta remember those melon seeds are there. <laughs> At some point, we will need those. Sebastian. Got a nasty cut from a rock crab. Don't tell anyone. Hey. Hey, Robin. Sebastian was in the caves last night and he got a nasty cut from a rock crab. She seemed awfully happy with that. I don't know. Yeah. Whatever. Bye, Demetrius. Pam. Birthday beer is coming. Need a couple sand berries. We need need some energy to water here. Do we have room for birthday beer? Ooh, just barely. No. Nope. What quest did we ignore today? Ruby again? Okay, everybody. Give up on the rubies until I get down a little further in the mines, please. Uh, what can I give to who? Ah, uh, somebody's getting a daffodil here. Hmm. <laughs> Emily, would you like this daffodil? Yeah, she didn't hate it. Hope you're farming in a sustainable way. The valley's ecosystem is fragile. I, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> hey, you look like you could use a beverage. How about a beer that I give to Pam? Oh, is my birthday today? I guess it is. Thanks. This is nice. You're welcome, Pam. Don't go on her too hard, though. Business has been slow lately. Dude, I've been keeping you busy. You're full of it. And you're also full of it, Shane. I will leave you alone if you're going to be a jerk like that. All right. Time to sell some fish. A little inventory management. And then watering. My favorite part of the day. And maybe, maybe, plant some parsnips. Maybe. We will see. We'll see how I feel after all this watering. Might drain me, you know. Anything else need to go in there? No, I don't think so. Oh, I need... Excuse me, I had to sneeze. Oh my god, I think I pulled a muscle on my back sneezing. Ugh. Ow. <laughs> yeah, you can tell you're getting old when you start pulling a muscle on your back sneezing. Awesome. Ow. Ow. All right, where is my watering can? Wait, where is my watering can? Oh, <laughs> I put it in the wrong box. Might as well grab the parsnip seeds in case I want them. Just in case. Ooh, the old vertical watering. Shake things up, keep it fresh. Totally different. Changes everything. It's so much more fun than horizontal watering, I'm telling you. Yeah, out of my way, tree. Or, or, Lucera, you could just not walk into the tree. Just saying. You're the one who could have avoided the tree. The tree couldn't have avoided you. What time is it going to be when we finish watering? Jeebus, please. Time to plant more parsnips, maybe? 
Oh, did I just miss right bad there? Yep, sure did. And I can barely even see this stuff. Of course, planting the wild seeds is risky because if I get cauliflower, then I'll be sad. Oh well. Oh, it's not even midnight. I might as well dig up some more friggin' crops. Where's my axe? I asked you where my axe was. Alright. Do I want to bother fertilizing these? I mean, it's just going to be parsnips, right? Do we have fertilizer? Sure did we do. Oh my god, I don't even have enough. Huh. Whoops. Oh well. Don't forget to water it, Looch. Oh my god, that was terrible. Yeah, it kind of works out. Too bad. Too bad, I said. Hey, Bubby. Yes, go to sleep for the night. Oh, wow, that was a better fishing day than I thought it was. A lot of carps, a lot of chubs. No, well, call that a win. All right, that'll be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Join me in the next one when we take our iron pick for a spin.